uh, how to set up the featured text panel in the uh, WP local biz uh, theme on the um, on the home page and uh, where are we uh, go to the home page here and what I'm talking about is this section here underneath the actual featured panel itself uh, there's a big white space in between the bottom of the featured panel and the and the, and the footer as you can see and uh, that uh, exists because the right hand opt-in opt uh, panel uh, where you've got all these different options and so forth well y the more content that you put in there and at the moment we've got this nice little uh, image that links to a page uh, pushes the um, that right hand uh, panel uh, down and of course that then creates some white space in between the footer and the um, and the featured panel so um, we're going to uh, fill that with the, the featured uh, text box and it's also a, a great place to put a little bit of uh, content uh, that's going to help with SEO for the home page so uh, without uh, anything further uh, said let's go to the actual home page uh, control panel itself and uh, here we are you'll recognize this as the standard uh, WP admin now notice all this text here well that doesn't appear at all on the uh, home page because I'm using the featured panel if I was just default that would show up or if I was featured panel plus content this would all show up below the featured panel I'm sure many of you have experimented with that and if you haven't already it's a good thing to do once you start playing around with the theme but uh, the good thing with the with this is that um, here, here's the, the the text here that I, we're going to uh, put into the um, uh, the featured text uh, panel on the on the front there, and uh, what I've done is I've used the um, the WP uh, admin uh, editor page editor to create that uh, bit of text exactly the way that I want it. And you can see that I've I've got some bold in there, and I've got the um, you know the red color. I've underlined uh, an important sentence there. All of our chiropractors are professionally licensed doctors of chiropractic DC, and I've even got a link in there, which is actually a link I created to the uh, to the opt-in form. And um, what we do is we copy and paste that and put it into the uh, custom fields, okay, which is on this uh, on this page, the control uh, page for the um, uh, the page editor for. Uh, the home page okay but we don't actually copy and paste that in what we do is we copy and paste in the HTML code and that's the purpose of okay so it's the last paragraph here this one here if you recall uh, local chiropractic okay so that's the one that we we copy and paste and put into the custom fields which is lower down on the uh, page here now when I scroll down to the bottom of this uh, control panel, there's no custom fields. Where are they? You know, for that matter, where's the discussion? Where's the tags? Where's all the different options and so forth? Uh, a lot of people get confused with that. And since um, I think version 3.0 of uh, WordPress, they decided th through me at, at first. I thought, well, where's everything gone? So if you just scroll to the top right corner and you see this thing called screen options here you click that it'll drop down and you'll see you've got all these options of the different things that you can show and at the moment the only thing we've got showing is WordPress SEO by Yoast which is the best uh, WordPress SEO uh, plugin uh, available in my opinion uh, custom fields, fields we want to show them so we've just clicked that that's done and they should be showing now as we speak if I just scroll down the page and yes they are here is the uh, the custom fields and uh, that's um, what we want to uh, paste this um, uh, code into the HTML code into so without anything further said it's real simple all we do is uh, take okay we right click uh, sorry left click and we hold down everything and we're just gonna right click now of course we're gonna copy we're gonna come down here to custom fields we'll do this in a little in a minute here and we're just going to paste that in. Boom! It's gone in. Okay, so we need to uh, create a uh, a name. And we, as soon as we've done this before, it's already in this box. But uh, as the drop down text. So um, if th there's no text written in the drop down uh, menu on your particular uh, page editor, which there most likely will not be, unless you've done this before, just 
enter new and put in just write in text all lowercase t e x t it must be just those four letters and we add custom field okay so we've added the custom field it just went flashed yellow you might see and now it's uh, it's in there it says uh, update or delete so we know that it's uh, actually in there and if we go back to the home page and we refresh we should be done okay that should show up down the bottom here exactly the way that we wanted it page refreshing now and here we go it should be there there it is beautiful okay exactly the way that we wanted it so it's uh, it's dynamic once again the the uh, the height of that uh, box will be determined by the content that you put in so for instance if you want to keep this all neat and tidy and, and, and above the fold if the content that you've got say comes down about halfway to to here um, well then you might only want to put a couple of lines in but uh, generally speaking you put you can you know you're good to put in four or five lines and as I say uh, you know we've got some um, some good SEO in there local chiropractic well that'd be the name of your business and 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 so forth and um, as I say we've got the link in there if I click that that'll open up the um, the pop-out form that uh, we've done in the fancy box there it is beautiful everything's all good to go so that's it folks that's as simple as that how you um, insert a, uh, a special uh, text box featured text box beneath the feature panel on WP Local Biz and I hope you've enjoyed this video and uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next one thanks for joining me bye now